Alright, in my last video I walked you through how to set up a project in Tuner Studio. Um, now I want to take a look at where Tuner Studio stores its files. Uh, this could be handy for you if you are needing to send a data log or a tune file to tech support for instance or just so you know where to go to look for your data logs so you can review them. So by default, let's see, Tuner Studio creates a folder in your My Documents folder. So I just went to Start Documents, or in your version of Windows it might be called My Documents. I'm going to open that. Within that we see this folder called Tuner Studio Projects. That's exactly what it sounds like. It's where Tuner Studio stores your projects. So if we open that up we should see a folder called MS3 Pro 1967 Camaro. I just opened it. There's this folder. There are other projects in here as well. Some of those were created by default when you installed Tinder Studio. Some of those may be other projects you've created, um, as, are, as are some of these for me. Um, but if I look in this folder, this is the one we're interested in, MS3 Pro 1967 Camaro. If I open that up, the biggest thing you want to be aware of is this is where Tuner Studio stores your tune files as well as your data logs and some other project related information that we won't get into right now. So I'm going to move this window up here <clears throat> so you can kind of see both at the same time. If I want to, let's say I'm uh, getting ready to tune my car, I'm going to go up here and go to file and save tune as. I want to save it just as it is now before I've done anything. So I'm going to call it 00. I like to use two numbers and there's a reason for that. And we'll call it baseline. This is before I've tuned anything. Now notice when I save that MSQ file, that's what was, is referred to as an MSQ file, it's the tune configuration. Um, or if you're a Street Outlaws fan, it's your tune up. And uh, I, I like to create a baseline before I've done anything. And let's say I've started making some changes <clears throat> and I want to do a save tune as. Um, so I've already done a little tuning after my baseline. I'm going to call this one 01. And we'll say um, set base timing and roughed in VE table. And we'll save that. <clears throat> so now I've got 01. And the reason I use two numbers is because if you just use one, it, it gets them, they, they kind of get ordered funny when you, uh, when you sort by name. So if you use uh, two or three digits, um, then you're covered up to either 99 or 999 files and it'll show them in order as you go through here. And let's say I just, uh, I've just i completely tuned my, my fuel table now. Um, I'm on the dyno, that's done. I'm going to create another file, VE table dialed in. And, uh, so anyway, as you can see, <clears throat> you can always go back through history and, and get back to a certain point in your process if you make a mistake somewhere, it's easy to back out. The other thing I want you to be aware of is your data logs in here. Um, this is where your data logs will be stored. So if I go up here to data logging and say start logging, and I'll just let it take its default name, um, which is a date and time, and click save, it started to data log to that folder. And now you can see it's there. When I go up here and stop it, that data log is there. So if our tech support were to ask you to send a tune file and a data log, this is where you'll want to come. And you'll want to save your current tune file to a name that makes sense. And then from here you will send that to us and we'll go over how to email a file in a, a different video. Um, and then data log, same thing. If, if there's a data log you need to send us, this is where you go to get it.